Hello and welcome to the 22nd installation of my video diary here on YouTube. The last two weeks uh, were mainly uh, occupied by uh, us being in uh, Mount Titlis and uh, creating the uh, the snowboard movies there. Um, so for this, not much has happened this week. So it is a uh, packet time. Uh, I've received a number of packets and the first one we're going to deal with this week. All the packets that we're going to look at are actually from Indiegogo, um, but this video and this week uh, I'm going to focus on a product I got on Indiegogo, um, a dash cam by uh, 70 May. Why a dash cam? Why Indiegogo? Um, I always wanted to have a dash cam, but um, running a dash cam in the country that I live in, in Germany, is not entirely legal. Um, so it is not legal to have it run all the time and record uh, your driving and uh, the people on the roads uh, without uh, without any purpose. Um, however, it is entirely legal uh, to do scenic uh, montage videos. Um, so what, what I definitely needed was a dash cam um, that's not always on. And second, um, I mean, as as those of you who drive know, the one thing that you don't want to do is uh, fiddle around with a button uh, to turn on a dash cam. Um, so when I browsed Indiegogo and ran across the uh, dash 70 mile dash cam that comes with voice activation, I said, well, yeah. Um, and as an early backer, it also came in at a very reasonable price. Um, and uh, a couple of weeks, months later, uh, and I finally uh, got the first production version of the English 70 My dash cam. Without further ado, I'm going to uh, unbox the, uh, the webcam now, and afterwards uh, we're putting it into the car, and uh, in the final segment of the uh, video we'll take it for a drive. So uh, let's start with the box, a uh, simple plain uh, black box uh, has the logo on the side 70 May and the web address uh, 70 May.com. If we try to open it, slides right off. Has a little booklet in. And then the uh, pad to uh, fix it to the windscreen. And then we can already see uh, the actual webcam. We can take it out. It's a, a cylindrical device with uh, the foot to put it against the windshield, serial number and regulatory information, and then the lens uh, looking forward. It has a, a button and sensor on one side and USB and micro SD connections on the other. What else is in the box? There's a small uh, yeah, small device which actually goes into uh, the cigarette lighter port uh, uh, of your car. And last but not least, there is a cable. The cable is uh, hopefully long enough. It comes uh, with the uh, micro USB to go into the camera and USB to go into the uh, secret lighter adapter. So down in our garage, um, there's no Wi-Fi, um, which leads me to the first pro tip of the day. Uh, to do the setup of the channel light, dash cam upstairs in wherever you have internet and Wi-Fi. It runs off of a standard 5 volt USB. Uh, it doesn't need the 12 volts from uh, from the car. The camera is set, so now let's take a first spin.
Hey, thanks a lot for staying with me throughout the video. Um, the test drive was uh, uneventful, but I did get uh, a shoot for the Ember Challenge in. Um, the Ember Challenge is uh, a monthly challenge uh, posted by Audrey Ember on her YouTube channel and her Discord channel. Uh, I'll link the uh, info down below. Um, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please do leave a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. Um, I'm happy for any comments and uh, I'll be glad if you'd uh, share the video with your friends. All links to our social media are down in the description below and uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!